that is five years old, I realized that what my little sister had between her legs was not like mine. I realized we were different. Thus, the vagina was born. I wanted one. I thought it would grow. I thought I would open. I ached to belong. I ached to smell like my mother. Her sweet aroma lingered in my hair, and my hands, and my skin. I ached to be pretty. Pretty. I wondered why I was missing my bathing suit top at the beach. Why I wasn't dressed like the other girls. I ached to be completed. I ached to belong. To twirl the baton. They assigned me a sex the day I was born. It's as random as being adopted or being assigned a hotel room on the 30th floor. It has nothing to do with who you are or your fear of heights. But in spite of the apparatus I was forced to carry around, I knew I was a girl. The torture that I endured during my early education years is not what made me a woman. The abuse made my character fortified. I know I was a woman long before I came to Earth. They beat me for it. They beat me for crying. They pummeled me for wanting to touch, to pet, to hug, to help, to hold their hands, for trying to fly in church like Sister Bertrand, for doing cartwheels, crocheting socks, for carrying purses to kindergarten. They beat the shit out of me every day on my way to school. In the park, they smashed my magic marker painted nails. They punched my lipstick mouth. They beat the girl out of my boy. Or so they tried. So I went underground. I stopped playing flute. Be a man. Stand up for yourself. Go punch him back. It was good, I was big. I joined the Marines. Suck it up and drive on! I became duller, jaded, sometimes cruel. Butch it! Butch it! Butch it up! Always clenched, inaccurate, incomplete. I ran away from home. From school. From boot camp. Ran to Miami. Greenwich Village. Pollution Islands. New Orleans. I found gay people! <laughs> Wilderness <laughs> lesbians. Got my first hormone shot. Got permission to be myself. The choice I could have made as a youngster was to kill myself. Then where would I be? But I chose to live the only way I knew how. And that was in womanhood. And it was hell to get here. But you know, I did it. I got to transition, to travel, to immigrate. 350 hours of hot needles. I would count the particles as they died. 16. Facial hair is gone. And my voice? Practice, practice. It's all about resonance. Sing song, sing song. <laughs> Men are flat and monotone. Southern accents are really excellent. Jewish accents really help. Hello, my friends. <laughs> I don't know what being a woman is to any other women. I only know what it is to be me. And my vagina is so much friendlier. I cherish it. It brings me joy. The orgasms come in waves. Before they were jerky. <laughs> my lieutenant colonel father ended up paying for it. My vagina. Some women have penises. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Some women have penises. I'm one of them. I don't ever want to get rid of me. It's my discovery that I have to keep mine and embrace my womanhood. For me, there is no contradiction between the two. I'm not trapped in some penis's body. <laughs> I'm a woman. 
My mother was worried what people would think of her, that she made this happen. Until I came to church, and everyone said, you have a beautiful daughter. And my mother, when she was dying, she wanted to see me. So I went to the hospital, and we talked, and she looked surprised. She said something that surprised me. She said, oh my, you're beautiful. And I thought, oh my God, she sees me. But, you know, her life was ending. And she died. And I wasn't invited to the funeral. I got to be soft. I'm allowed to listen. I'm allowed to touch. I'm able to receive. To be in the present tense. I can wake up in the morning and put my hair in a ponytail. The wrong was righted. I am right with God. It's like when you're trying to sleep and there's a loud car alarm. When I got my vagina, it was like someone finally turned it off. I live now in the female zone. You know how some people feel about immigrants. They don't like it when you come from someplace else. They don't like it when you mix. They killed my boyfriend. They beat him insanely as he slept with a baseball bat. They beat this girl out of his head. They didn't want him dating a foreigner. Even though she was kind and pretty, and she listened, I want him falling in love with ambiguity. They were scared he'd get lost. They were that terrified of love.